Good evening, everyone. I'm welcoming Nusra Sahin today, and uh, she's here with us. And uh, would you like to say a couple of words, Nusra? Thank you very much, Janice, for inviting me to your beautiful New Earth Visioning Project. I'm so honored and very glad to be here with you at this time. It just feels exciting. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm excited. So let's start uh, by just introducing you a little bit more to Nusra. She is originally from Turkey, where she studied Eastern and Western literature and graduated from Turkish literature and linguistics. She also was fascinated with quantum physics and researched quantum aesthetics in films during her master's course in communication studies. She emigrated to London, England, and began to write on consciousness. Since early childhood, Nusra was aware of a voice characterized by a unique vibration that felt loving. She began writing co connecting and connecting with the source in her 20s and recognized its frequency and vibration. Striving to know and build constant connection with the source of this voice, she discovered it was the voice of my source self, the authentic teacher who holds tremendous love, compassion, mastery, and authority. As Rumi said, it was the wordless voice. I learned that this voice was me. I accepted the direct training and guidance of my source self and kept my voice as my mentor. This decision was a big step in my training and in revealing my purpose on earth. Nusra now writes and offers workshops and practices to people interested in developing their multidimensional abilities and taking an active role in bringing forth the new earth. Her sources of information include Kuan Yin, various ancient masters, as well as archangels. Nusra's soul connection with Kuan Yin has been crucial in creating the multidimensional consciousness studies. Currently, she is working on creating the School of Multidimensional Consciousness to share techniques and practices and to share her knowledge with others. She, last year, she also wrote the book, Multidimensional Consciousness and the New Earth, How to Master a multidimensional lifestyle. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for presenting, um, summarizing the work I do and my journey. <clears throat> Definitely, it was just like a transformative journey for myself, first of all. But on the, that journey, also, it comes you recognize what is the purpose within yourself. Like it comes out through in that journey, and it becomes a blessing for you and you understand which parts are there to share with others. So this is actually what I was doing actually with this, is what we are doing together. Um, sharing gifts, our purpose, the messages uh, on that journey. Okay, let's, uh, let's, I have just a couple of questions first. Yeah. Uh, uh, what do you mean by multidimensional consciousness? Multidimensional consciousness is when we are connected with our heart space, we are not in our minds, in our everyday conditioned, everyday chat in our minds, like in this human conditioning, in this uh, chatter, mind chatter. So sometimes people try to silence, empty their minds without connecting, exploring or building that heart connection. So when you bring that heart connection and open up to your exploring this uh, sense of self, at one point with the right practices and techniques, you acknowledge that you are actually beyond who you think you are. You are a part of a consciousness tree. It is expanding in like uh, in the in the higher dimensions, higher dimensions, and on that journey, 
this is what multidimensional consciousness studies work on to bring awareness into the, uh, the multidimensional nature of the person. So we can build that awareness, this multidimensional awareness that we are not just the, this, uh, what the human persona manifesting on the earth plane in the collective reality, in that connected state of being, we understand that we are, uh, we are actually aware and we can connect to these versions of ourselves that I call vertical incarnations, like our higher selves. And in that tree of uh, life, in that you, uh, you can explore how your abilities, how your wisdom, how your relationship uh, unfold. It is like more multidimensional consciousness is bringing awareness into there are some principles, of course, we created along the uh, writing of the book and creating the education uh, system around it. Multidimensional consciousness is that awareness that you are a multi-layered being like a, like a pillar of light or a light building of light actually existing. And then in that fluid state of mind, once you are using the right alignment, right intentions, you can actually explore this higher and higher layers of consciousness. And in that journey, you work with yourself, within yourself consciously being aware of it. That is multidimensional awareness, multidimensional consciousness for me. Having been in one of Nusra's uh, workshops, um, she actually brings us to these different levels. It's amazing, these different levels uh, of ourselves. You mention a lot in your book, the source self. Can you explain that? Source self is like a huge topic. I don't know how to explain it, to be honest, but of course I will try to, you know, uh, bring, uh, bring an explanation to help others to understand what I mean. There are many different words uh, describing same connection. We can say heart connection, we can say uh, oneness. In the way I acknowledge it was, you know, this, um, this, a source that we are, I was connecting when I was writing to explore the wisdom within myself, like as a, like a personal time, meditative writing, whatever uh, is, was um, coming out when I was writing in the connected way. Uh, as I started to connect with it uh, within my heart space, that persona, that being, has turned into a kind of um, like a being an awareness, a consciousness, source self is what is within us as a, as a being, as a wisdom, as an awareness. It is our mentor. It is a uh, higher self and it is higher selves. It is the source, it is the one, it is you. So once you have that, uh, of course, experiencing it would be, uh, the best way of explain ex the best way of talking about it the, just in the experience it comes out but when we are connected to heart space and understand that it is all us it is all within bring that I am consciousness as well as you know whatever is there for us within us we are all source lights but we are unaware we are bringing awareness into who we are all the descriptions are layers are helping us to understand that. But in that heart space, just focusing on that light and building that communication brings that being, that, that self into existence and say like, okay, now let's, let's study together. It is like a complete trusting, understanding, hearing, opening ears, opening heart. So self is where you connect with yourself acknowledging that you are the source and um, bring, bring, your, bring your relationship. There you create that source of connection. Thank you. I, 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 I believe I remember in your book that you characterized it as a pillar of light. Or that, 
Is it Yes, pillar of light is something we use in our practices as well. Pillar of light is more like, it is a good visualization of understanding that you know, maybe you can connect it with your chakras, going up and up and up. Uh, this pillar of light is uh, when we are, yes, this pillar of light is, we see it as a rising building, like a light building. But we also know that it is within our heart. And on that layers, we explore, explore different layers and we uh, explore ourselves vibrating on these layers. Um, and also we bring all that into our heart space and acknowledge it as a source self. So that pillar of light is more maybe can be described, worded, because we are using words to just explain inexplicable concepts now you know we are aware of it this multi-dimensional this pillar of light is more about multi-dimensional nature mm -hmm. so multi-dimensional self illustrated as a pillar of light and when we bring that know that it is all within and expanding in that way that is kind of a, this deep connection to the source and you acknowledge it as yourself and just be vulnerable, open and communicative in that understanding. Maybe it explains better now. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I get that, uh, that one needs to, things are, it's beyond words and thoughts as, as we, in our group, we, we, we study uh, and learn and understand in that respect. And this is beyond words and thoughts, too. We have to feel it, yes. Okay. Well, uh, would you like to start just teaching us a bit? Uh, practicing, you mean? Practicing, sorry, yes, practicing. Yeah, we can do a little bit practice and then invite the participants, whoever will watch later, can just kind of be part of that uh, field if they wish to and uh, align with the energies. Okay. Um, I can walk you through 10, 15 minutes of heart opening maybe and connection to that source as in the, in the best way. Okay, no, so bring us beyond words and thoughts. I know you can do it. Okay, I'll try my best. Uh, of course, it is the source, you know, um, source light that will carry us, embrace us. We can do a little bit of practice and feel the energies and then see what opens up without expectations. Okay. So for the group participants and everyone who is going to watch later, we, uh, we set this intention to share uh, this experience in the best, in the best way. Um, we can start first with grounding, feel, feeling the source and soles of our feet. And Mother Earth, this source of love, nurturance, compassion, willpower, free will. And then just feel Mother Earth. She is going through a transformation. She is all holding us, hugging us, feeling us. She's sharing her journey with us. We are one. She's reminding us that we are one. We are together. She is us. We are her. In the creation of new earth, we are together we are exploring that oneness we are exploring that we are mother in that understanding the project is reaching the fulfilling the purpose that we are growing opening up to who we understanding who we are remembering who we are so with that intention, let's release roots to Mother Earth and with these roots connect with her on a deeper level, ground physical as a physical being. Let's feel our bodies, sense our physical presence.
feel the energy coming to your roots, to your body. And with your intention, ask this Mother Earth energy to bring you, to connect you with the Earth grid and Mother Earth's energies. Feel that flowing to your feet, legs, and grounding you more, aligning your chakras, feel your root chakra, sacral chakra, solar plexus chakra, heart chakra, throat chakra, third eye chakra, crown chakra. Feel that energy is rising to all your chakra system and going up and see it, see it as a circling, circling fountain-like energy moving to your being. And also let's feel that cosmic energy flowing to your crown chakra, coming down, this visualizes as a white, Mother Earth energy, I visualize this as a golden energy. White light is coming, connecting us to cosmic consciousness heaven, cosmic grid, bringing that energies and the wisdom connecting us to, to the spirit. Let this white energy come through your crown, third eye, throat chakra, heart chakra, solar plexus, sacral chakra, root chakra, and release it through your roots. And you might visualize that it is circling back up like a fountain, other way around. Feel that these two energetic currents are blessing you, nurturing you, and aligning your chakras, bringing the most needed energies for you at this time. I will now activate um, the multidimensional consciousness field to just bring people into more alignment. This is a field of energy we use in our practices. And then ask people to go into their heart space and see this heart space as a temple. So bring that your attention flows down like a snowflake into your heart space. In that heart space, see that you have an inner temple. Bring your attention into that temple. Explore the space. You can visualize your little version of yourself, or you can see yourself as a light being, as a light, a being of light. Sit in your set temple and just feel what is there? Feel your body in there. And give love to yourself. Give love to your heart temple. You feel the love within your heart temple. Release all the fear all the worries, all, all your expectations. Let it open up. Allow love to fill in to your heart temple. Heart is the gate to consciousness, to higher realms. Knowing that makes us more even excited and willing to open our hearts because it is where it all starts. It is the highest inner ability to connect with heart. That heart connection 
we experience the source light, our true nature, that is love. Let your heart open. Give love to your soul, your over souls. And I said, like, we are a pillar of light. On this tree of life, in this pillar of light, you have so many layers of consciousness. You are an extension of a huge tree extending to existence as branches. So recognize that tree of life that is you. Bring that all into your being, your heart temple, your over souls. This is what I call over souls, your thicker and thicker branches, mother branches of your consciousness, your soul. Bring that all into that space. Let it adjust you, blend with you. We are not afraid of ourselves. We love ourselves. We are open to ourselves. We love their compassion. We enjoy their presence. Yay, we enjoy the joy of being who we are. And see that light is expanding in your heart temple and adjusting your energy frequency and consciousness awareness into the right level for you to experience this. You are in surrender and trust. See all that united self This light being of yours is now more in union with the soul, with the other souls. And recognize yourself is the light, the source light. See that light and make it step to understand, communicate with it. Say that I am you, you are me. I open my heart to your wisdom, intelligence. And in this temple, I would like to meet you, be in your presence, stay in this field and embody you, align with you and recognize my authentic nature, who I am. Give your love to that union. Remember that state. Make a note of that state. And you can express your willingness. Hear my source self, my over souls, my soul, my heart. I would like to communicate, collaborate with you and align with you more and more. I would like to embody this light and the wisdom coming with this light more and more. Please communicate with me. I open my heart. I release my fear. And I accept learning, studying, practicing with you. We will just stay for two minutes in this state. If you have anything to express, you can. Receive the love and light. 
we are not going to hire dimensional layers because it's going to be a short practice. This is just alignment and sensing the heart connection, the source self connection, this little practice. You can communicate, speak in this temple. And use that practice when writing, creating your projects. Spending time with your family, your loved ones. Because here you are in communicative, uh, collaborative openness with that source light within you. Now we thank our soul, our all souls, our source self, the source light for connecting with us. This heart temple is also has been blessed. Say thank you, gratitude for the support, for the experience. And then feel our physical presence. When we are ready, we open our eyes. So that was a, a brief example of how we build that connection, the communication, that state of oneness in our heart space. And then from there, once we are kind of reach at that sense of self, we can, what we do is we do in our practices that we start going into this exploration of the higher dimensional layers of consciousness because in that field of multidimensional consciousness it's like a think about it as a portal like a kind of a opening a field we can we are with our intention we just from here we uh, start um, adjusting the higher frequency and vibrational layers and meet our spirit guides teachers um, and do some studies, practices in the higher layers of consciousness, higher dimensional consciousness. That is, uh, in a way, helps us to learn better, um, process quicker, easier, because it is like we are kind of in elevated, heightened state and in a special ground a field surrounding us as part of the multidimensional consciousness studies the system and then in that space we have the we find the chance to um, learn study more that is like a, how the system multidimensional consciousness system we are sharing works so it kind of uh, brings that heightened state and in that space, in that field we create, we are able to communicate, connect with our guides and receive certain information. And um, people call it activations. I don't because it's just energetic field. We are, we are receiving probably like many activations, many blessings. It's like more about experiential, what is happening is happening there uh, in, that, in that state of unitedness with the soul, higher self, the source self. This is how we work. Thank you, Nusra. That was very powerful. Uh, okay, so when we connect to our multidimensional consciousness, what does this do for us? How does it help? 
uh, very good question actually it is um, we are we are multidimensional beings first of all so if if i say that i am talking about something that is kind of unknown that would be like against our nature and i'm talking about what we are who we are already we are multidimensional beings we are just unaware of it you know so of course with the all this shift happening and we talk about higher frequency and vibration on earth um we are opening up to this ability this consciousness we understand we feel that there's more to us who we think we are as we get more and more connected multi-dimensional consciousness is uh when we bring awareness into this multi-dimensional being we are we are here we are there we are there we are there so we are the human we are the master we are the buddha we are the source we are the divine we are the god we are the, all the masters we are all the archangels it's like an extended sense of self in a way because we are experiencing that earth being the planet earth being the cosmic consciousness so it's like all embedded in our design we need to just be aware we first acknowledge that we are wherever we are trying to get to is this is where we already are so as the, the system we are bringing not just as like a kind of techniques but as also the, as the energetics as like a portal as a field thanks to you know all this uh source spirit supporting this um, studies so in that space people are kind of finding the experience the practices that in kind of uh, sparking igniting this awareness that oh wow it's just that because we are bringing awareness into this who we are in in uh, in the relevant setting so people can hear it experience it and speak to speak to themselves speak to their teachers speak to their soul teams and find out what exactly they are doing and mastering on the higher layers so that is like exploring how am i manifesting on this dimensional layer consciousness layer how am i manifesting on this higher self presence how what what are my abilities on this level what is here for me to learn so this is the system is like um, let's think talk, think about it as an as an elevator a lift in us in uk different words <laughs> it's like a consciousness is flowing in that fluidity fluidity flexibility that mind is opening that heart is opening the chakras are aligning and then in that space we go like okay mm, is this me mm, is this something i can do how can i learn it it's just like because you are within yourself you are uh, making the journey to the higher consciousness meeting your divine self on the halfway wherever you are supposed to be in that system so it's like uh, as we talk about ascension to, or enlightenment we used to talk about enlightenment in the in the uh, traditional path and i see that it's like it's not this enlightenment but it's like more about at the moment authenticity is just more uh, presented better because in that awareness we are exploring who we are that's like the creator consciousness comes in that um, sense of self abilities the power inner power we open up to what is there already that multi-dimensional consciousness system is not promising to become something huge or something enlightened but it's saying that go within deeper and deeper and an open space to just practice with it communicate with it and then see what is there you are already and there's nowhere to go let's bring awareness to it and then how we can utilize it to okay. bring in our purpose. Okay, I have a question uh, from one of our members, uh, Rebecca Whitecotton. What are some of the signs we can look for in our lives that would help us recognize we are coming into our multidimensional consciousness? That's interesting. Sometimes I, um, 
um, experience that as like a kind of lucidity. Um, but it is, um, I would say, uh, everyone will experience it differently, I would say. But of course, there will be some characteristics that you are, instead of you are kind of in your mind, you are in your heart space. You feel that the sense of um, sense of um, self is a bit more um, fluid. It's more like a bit of lucid, but at the same time you are uh, functioning in a healthy way. If, of course, bringing that into your everyday life, let's say in the kitchen, maybe you don't want to be so fluid in the fluid perception. So I use. I try to kind of bring that into my meditations, my writing, my practices, my creative projects, and then observe how it is also blending into my everyday life, step by step. Sometimes at work, sometimes I have a question and I would like to see it from a higher perspective. So I, I can connect with my heart and I feel that extend, ex heightened state of a higher view and kind of connection in like from as if looking at the issue from my higher self's eyes and uh, some in some stages i just feel let's say oh i'm so uh, feel so desperate like feel so hopeless i feel and then like no support and this kind of let's say this kind of mindset and i connect and open that uh, field and then remember this um, communication, the support I have in the tree of life, and then start a communication and bring it into my everyday life. That definitely uplifts me and shows me what I need to release, what I need to accept, transform, and what is there for me to see. If I didn't open up that multidimensional space maybe i would learn it in different ways reading about it you know of course reading researching will be always there but it would maybe take more time for me to get out of that this is so hard connection also sending that inquiry into higher dimensional consciousness and then being present to the guidance using your own channels your own being also, if you have the time, meditating, seeing yourself opening, uh, going there and sitting with your own uh, soul teachers, masters, guides, teams. So this is this can kind of be interplay, and everyone will experience it differently, bring it into their lives differently. This is something I should say. That's definitely a bit fluid mind. Uh, but it is like a kind of awareness that you tap in and tap out, see, kind of bring, uh, learn how to utilize it for your best use to help you in your journey. Okay, so it sounds like a lot of, a, a much quicker way to get guidance and, and, and higher perspective and all that besides reading a hundred books. So that's good, <laughs> that's one thing. Okay. Another question, this is from another person. What daily practices do you use to keep yourself in alignment with your multidimensional self? I um, I bring awareness into my connection uh, as much as I can. Sometimes I see myself being in the mind space a lot. For example, I'm working on a project, I feel stuck and I come back and connect with my heart space. And then in there, I find that feel that light growing and then start a communication. And if I have time, I do like this 15 minutes, half an hour break times, just connecting to the field because we have this cycle of multidimensional consciousness as a system for the students. They, they do the same. So they connect with this, with the school, the system, the portal, the field, and then align uh, Align, align in that alignment they meet they communicate um, and study practice with their teachers their guides so i do that kind of practices 
my main practices would be, I would call it like multidimensional conscious practice. I made it like a meditation. I do dancing. I do writing. Uh, that is also quite a um, powerful way for me still. The writing is, has been my, almost like a spiritual practice all my, li all my life. Uh, dancing also has a similar thing that with, with the music, but the movement, I can connect with the energy and connect with my higher and higher and higher state and then see practice learn in that state. Okay, do you, um, another question from a, a person, um, uh, what type of foods do you eat? Do you do anything like that Does, uh, in your self-care to keep yourself in, a, in connection? Uh, nature, walking in nature. Okay. I love swimming and so that water connects helps me uh, feel, you know, cleansed, fresh. Definitely, I try to take the um, take off times, like rest times, uh, and before bed, I try to keep away from digital world and come back into my um, heart space, connect with the higher self, source self, bring that connection, bring that communication, and to hear. That is important. I keep saying communication, but maybe it is not clear. When I communicate, I get like, do I, do I have, is there any message for me? Is there any practice for me? Is there any task for me? Is there any role for me? Any guidance for me? So it's like that kind of uh, checking in with my tree of life. I'm just checking it with, 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 the, with, with my collective being. So I just see what is in there, what is there for me to like at the end of the day or for tomorrow or for my spiritual uh, purpose, soul purpose. After that, it's just, I feel kind of more balanced, grounded before sleeping, before going to sleep. And I was recently speaking to a friend that, and I was describing, maybe it is a good uh, phrase to bring now. I think we should go into sleep like a, going into a temple not just so exhausted, hoping that sleep is going to recover us fully and energize us fully. Before bed, we should, uh, I try to bring that kind of balance, groundedness and feeling wholeness. Not always, of course. I sometimes, you know, go crawling, but uh, so we can wake up fresh um, and rest, care, nurture us through the sleep. That is something I, um, specifically um, focus on. I don't use so many other stuff like incense or candles, um, oxygen, oxygen, a bit of movement, more keeping healthy and a balance of well-being overall. Um, two people uh, asked this question. What is your process of intention setting? Intention setting for me is like we did in the practice. We went to, before we said like, okay, we, we talked to mother earth and said, dear mother earth, this is why we are here. You are going through this shift. We are growing, learning with you. We are creating this earth. We want to acknowledge you are us. So it was like a kind of speaking and bringing a framework, a concept to, why you are practicing, why you are igniting that communication. So we came to heart space and then we said like, we, this is our intention. We would like to experience that alignment, soul over soul, source self, and we would like to start a communicate, communicative process. We are ready to learn. So the, we said, we made that kind of statements and these statements are actually setting intention for that. In, in the whole, um, maybe in the deep down, there is this um, sense of nothingness in all that. So your intention makes it so. Not because we are talking about all that layers, the oneness, but actually multi dimension consciousness studies tells us there is nothing out there. It is all about your creation. 
And in that creation, you set the intention. And you set that intention in the heart space of yours. And you say everything, ask everything, and receive everything from that heart space, knowing that there is nothing out there. There's so much in there. And in that huge um, you know, acceptance, we go like, what am I going to do? OK, let's, let's choose. Let's make it so. Setting intention is setting intention for a practice. What do you want to purify? Setting intention, uh, this is my intention. This is my statement. This is my readiness. This is my openness, you know, bringing words into it or channeling it with your just energy, with your feelings. But at the end of the day, setting intention is knowing that it is creation. So you are setting intention in the world of nothingness. That intention creates the, the happening. I don't know if I... No, that's, that's, that's good. And, and uh, <laughs> there are two, two people also asked, the, uh, I'm going to paraphrase, asked this question. And I'm curious about knowing a little bit more too. Uh, <clears throat> Who are your mentors? I, I, you, you, under, you say in your book, and you help us to do the same, to connect with higher beings, archangels and, and ascended masters and people like that, that are in these higher realms that we can reach in our consciousness. Who are they? Um, I have not mentioned Guan Yin in my book, but Guan Yin has been my uh, uh, main mentor along with Saint Germain. So they had different roles. I acknowledge Guan Yin as part of my soul, my lineage. So my connection with her was that, you know, direct connection of the kind of bringing, kind of bringing that mind, two mind working together at the same time as one. So that was a blessing. And that was a lot of learning, a lot of compassion because she is like, she is known as compassion Bodhisattva, Compassion Buddha, or Goddess of Mercy in different uh, traditions, in different texts. Uh, so she has also this very much huge uh, Divine Mother, Divine Feminine Energy connection with Mother Earth and humanity. So she wants to be a part of our journeys as a representative of the Divine Mother Spirit. Divine Mother meaning all that divine feminine, divine mother, or goddess spirit. So she is reaching us, helping us access to um, this, this system, these studies came out as, let's say, our common understanding, along with other uh, feminine uh, souls who were kind of giving us a giving us the guidance for creation because mother creates and it is time for the creation of a new earth, creating a new earth. That means we need to open up to our, this creative role. In that way, I was being guided by Guan Yin uh, a lot and Mary Magdalene, Mother Mary. So they were uh, divine beings supported me in different ways. Of course, uh, Ascended Master Christ, uh, Saint Germain, Samat Kumara, uh, several Buddhas, Gautama Buddha, Amitabha, Amitofu, known as Amitofu, and Archangels. Um, I, I always felt like they had different roles. Uh, when I, in, my, in our studies also, we build these connections like a teacher-student connection. So the person's source self connection is the central connection. These masters come in to come into the process when they uh, when there is a learning, a guidance for related to their uh, intelligence, their wisdom, whatever it is they are presenting, manifesting in your life, maybe corresponding to learning with studying with Christ. Maybe this, what you are learning is corresponding with Saint Germain. So you will be connecting in that uh, different ways. 
Of course, some people might have different guides. You know, they might not like working with guides. They can just study with their higher selves and be present to that self-connection. But I enjoyed having them around, always feeling their support and guidance. I, I, that's interesting because I, I've not been uh, too much into that, but now uh, after uh, dealing with you a bit, I, <laughs> I love some of the passages in your book. And here's what you say in one of the chapters. There are many light beings such as saints, angels, archangels, and Buddhas who are actively on duty in this field for the cause of helping humanity in its ascension and creation process. They are there to serve you in your journey to communicate, interact, and collaborate with you. Help is not coming from above. You are making the journey by elevating yourself in your higher dimensional consciousness in gratitude for their support. And oh, it, I love that. I hear. And it sounds like we need to we to connect with them, which they yeah. really want. We elevate ourselves to make this connection. We have to meet halfway, so to speak, yeah. right? To get to get uh, their wisdom and connection and love and all that. So how um, how are we going to create the new earth uh, with this? With this, uh, let's, we, I can't do it alone. <laughs> I need. I need just close, right? no. We need each other in that because every each one of us uh, we are unique in our designs. We are representing that whole consciousness, that one that one consciousness in unique ways. In each one of us, there is a um, wisdom, um, a purpose, a gift. As we grow and go into higher, higher, higher dimensional layers. We are actually kind of creating that flowers. This these seeds are becoming these huge trees. These seeds are becoming huge trees. In our practices, you might know Janice, we go and plant seeds in the in the in the playground. We have this in the higher dimensional layers. So in our school garden. So we put the seed and it becomes tree. We connect with that tree. So our mastery can awaken and we can master who we are in our design in higher dimensional consciousness layers if we make the journey consciously deliberately intentionally uh, in that way we are awakening that creative consciousness it is not just about okay let's align with 5d let's increase our hearts let's ascension do ascension let's go into emptiness and be void. Let's do, let's become enlightened saints. That is kind of, yes, but it is, I think at the moment, there's a purpose to, in, in, uh, because there's a purpose for this age, for this humanity, because we are, we have been here 2000 years ago, 3000 years ago, 5000 years ago, 10,000 years ago. We have been here in, in these processes, in other lifetimes, this time the experience I understand and I receive from the Divine Mother Spirit and the Mother Earth is that you, we are um, here to create, master our creation skills. Maybe like this is like not about going back up to become enlightened and then just maybe for some, maybe for some, I can't make it like, a huge statement that binds everyone and that is relevant to everyone. But the main goal for this period, main teaching, main class, main school, what we are learning here, we are mastering the fact that we are nothing so we can create. That is beyond, beyond what uh, we can comprehend with our mind. Multi-dimensional consciousness is creating that kind of the energetics that feel that system, which that is an intention. So the, its intention has been set in a way, in, in a world that doesn't exist. That's, uh, that system has been set with the um, intention setting was that 
hum humans practice their multidimensional mastery and they, they discover being that multidimensional masters within them. And with that, the purpose comes out and that purpose uh, is rolled on human realm. So we bring that down. We go up and we bring that down. So it's like, what is consciousness? What, is, what exists in the consciousness as dream, as intention, as understanding comes down with us and we manifest it as earth. Not that there is a planet in the physical matter. So we, be, we, we go beyond the physics. Only mastery, you know, only people uh, who can, you know, aware of that can build up that mastery. Of course, we are part of it one way or other. But we are, if we bring consciousness to it, our lifetime for most of us will find, will uh, align with the purpose. I would like to learn that I am the creator. I would like to, in that creator, there is nothingness because you can only create if you come to an understanding that nothing exists. Creation is that, not changing the world. So in that whole going within and coming out with your dream and intention setting, putting your consciousness and energy to it, and also playing your part as human in the physical realm, you are bringing that purpose the potential to realm. Of course, in the physical reality, we'll see that so many things are changing, systems are updating, and some people will be find it difficult to adjust and we will hold space with loving and compassionate vibes. We will empower each other. This will be our human roles as humans. But this uh, also comes from our higher dimensional um, presence. To, to this uh, layer. That is how I see that new earth is coming. We are bringing the energies, bringing the consciousness, bringing that up those abilities. With that, we are awakening the power. With that power, there is authority. So um, you are uh, understanding that we are one with mother earth. Then, uh, the, the dream changes, what we are reflecting is changing in relation to where we are, how much we are aware. So this is not something, uh, this uh, visioning, the name of your group is I think perfect in terms of New Earth visioning, because in that vision you are manifesting, you are manifesting what is coming and that makes it so. Mm -hmm. What we are doing is bringing that higher dimensional awareness and work to, to the um, equation so that visioning can is happens. We do visioning on higher realms, in the higher dimensional layers of consciousness. We do visioning and we do intention setting for Earth. And then we ask what can be done. We receive guidance and messages. So with the higher, when we go into to a higher dimension of ourselves, of course, our visioning is much more powerful. Definitely. More yes. immediate. Yes. And, and all of that. So this is very good for our group. Um, I, I, um, uh, and we go into that field, as you call it, uh, that field within ourselves. And yes. all another piece I love from your book, this face the field will serve those who will dream and bring bring in uh into being the atlantis of the golden age the new earth from this point forward living chained in the three and fourth dimensional realities that are a projection of the mind is a choice not an obligation this space is open to all who choose it and, and align with its intent it serves all regardless of their ethnicity culture religion gender education financial power or sexual orientation. I see the opening of the field as the end of the chained humanity in the matrix. And how many, it probably doesn't take that many of us, does it? To, to free. And to free, free the, yeah. No, it is not about the numbers, I believe. Right. Because it is about, the, it is about, um, yeah, it's like, because, because we are speaking from multiple layers, you know, because we are we are saying that we don't exist, 
you know, Earth is a projection. But also we kind of wonder how are we doing in this, uh, in this uh, when we are in the, in our human persona. So we are coming back and forth in that fluidity. So I don't think it is about numbers. It's about how many volunteers are so committed to bring the highest mastery possible. I think it's about the, um, and it is all in the design. They will know themselves and then even without knowing what they're experiencing, maybe they will finally become aware of their roles. Um, I think when, when they, this is what I, how I see if the, uh, everyone has a task on the table, when you are awakened that mother earth, uh, I think like I would just, I can uh, exa exemplify it like that. Oh, okay, master of this and that is awakened now. She, she's waiting like for you to awaken because, oh, and then in, you are bringing that balance because with you, the energy, the wisdom, the authority, the power, the abilities are opening on the earth realm in the whole consciousness. You blossoming, she is blossoming. She, everyone has bringing that their design. Actually, we are manifesting as humans, but we are actually a kind of bulb of consciousness. So that higher realms are what are making us blossom. We are in our expanded self. So that is so loving and compassionate. And then when we bring that to Mother Earth, she goes like, Oh my God, my goodness, she, my, this master has like, got awakened now, awakened now. And it's like a kind of uh, bringing that power in that area. We have specializations, intelligence, that a role, that true self is, um, you know, designed in a way um, that is in that manifestation, we understand our connection with our uh, true self. Yeah. This is who we are. This is what in, what is in our design. Not that we are different. It is just we are. This is how we are expressing. So, do you see? Uh, we have a couple of questions about the chaos out there, and 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 maybe the world will destroy itself, and things like that. What do you see in this regard? Um. When I look out there, what do I see in the physical reality, collective reality reflecting? Um, I see, uh, I, was, I have been connecting with, the, with some visions. Mm -hmm. I have received uh, that Mother Earth was saying that, that um, about the chaos as well. If you don't want to do, if you don't want chaos, you have to forgive, release and align with me quickly, as many as possible. So awaken, not just awaken, just release, release your traumas because we, we are doing this shadow work, not just on the like personal level, level, but also as a collective, we are releasing these traumas. Mother Earth loves that because then we are lighter and more, more full of light. And we can kind of move with her to this higher sense of self, higher role next evolution of our consciousness. So she, what I see is like that, is, it is happening. It has already happened. It has already happened. We are in this way, that way, we are kind of holding onto it like web, like, you know, some of us holding with the right hand from the mother's skirts, hands, arms. Some of us holding with, from the, you know, with left hand, some of us holding on to our each other's shoulders, legs. So we are kind of there in that consciousness sphere, but we are also kind of attached in what it was. Mm -hmm. In that we are kind of torn, and there are so many people with so many so much you know good hearts and loving, compassionate wives. So many beings helping us, creating this huge field to hold space for those who cannot adjust mm -hmm. to this new consciousness yet. So there's like huge space, holding space for each other. This is also very good for us because we are mastering unconditional love and compassion. Mm -hmm. In that chaos is being less chaotic. 
for we need to hold space for each other in this fragmented reality that we are so many thousands and millions of billions of people in that perception. In that perception, we should be loving, compassionate, and sharing, supportive, kind, understand that everyone is going through something, but also uh, know that it has already been it has already happened, and we have a role as masters to visualize, to vision, and also like uh, to bring that consciousness into our work, our presence, with our presence. Um, chaos is, I think, lack of forgiveness, lack of resistance, lack of releasing. Mother Earth said, like, I moved on. <laughs> I moved on. <laughs> Why are you stuck? <laughs> Come and work with me. We have so much to do. In that, uh, in that realm, there's like huge things to ex experience. Uh, also, I maybe share here as well that it is uh, the, the school's vision. The, 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 our work is, uh, we have a vision in my project is that the Mother Earth is becoming a multidimensional school. Not 5D, not 6D, a multidimensional school. That is whole project uh, is kind of revolving around that vision. New Mother Earth is becoming a multidimensional school and humans are becoming multidimensional humans, merging with their over souls, with their God selves on Earth in human persona. So the, the journey is not towards enlightenment, to that human persona becoming this multidimensional being in a multidimensional school and practicing the creation, the God selves and human selves are together. So that is like a school is forming around us. The, the, in our project, we are just prototype to introduce what is we are going to align with as we go. And, you know, train people who want to hold space and train others to adjust to that. I'm going to quote you know, the last words of your book, which is so inspiring to me. I've read it many times. Okay. The multidimensional collective has been given the task to come up with the proposals. The multidimensional conscious field as a cosmic training zone and collaboration space expects your connection. You will be empowered. This is exciting. It might not be easy to believe that a happy earth is on the way. We see one crisis after another. We wish for relief and stability, and we hear that there will be further struggles for us during the transition process. What is hard is to believe. Creation comes from the creator's will, not from our analytical minds. It is not the job of, of the multidimensional collective to wonder how it will be. We should stop worrying about that part, because once the multidimensional collective makes the call, the cosmos moves to fulfill this intention. The grand project expects us to make our declarations and broadcast our visions. What do you want to bring forth? It almost makes me cry. Thank you. I feel I felt it, and I listen to it whenever you say. I listen to it like being given this class by the source. So it makes me smile and blessed. Thank you very much for sharing what you are sharing. Um, that is that summarizes all multidimensional consciousness for to bring humans to a higher uh, layers of consciousness and bring out the master within themselves because their intention, their declarations, they, because they are the purpose holder, they are the power holder, they are the authority. In that declaration, in that visioning, Mother Earth says like, okay, you are my guy. <laughs> like, just say like, create it with me. Yes, this is what I want. I want you to be empowered and know that power, authority that you are a part of this process. In that intention, there is that creation power that is, we, we don't need to ask further questions about. That is, the whole universe is waiting for it because this is a project beyond us, our human 
understanding. Thank you. Thank you, Nusra, for all that you're doing, all the work you're doing, incredible work you're doing. Um, she has workshops, I've been to two of them now, and they really lift us up to our multidimensional selves. She does it quickly. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, and uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here and all the work you're doing. And uh, we're like sisters. We're kind of doing similar things, aren't we? Um, yeah, I think... I think we are connected on one level with you working, I think, uh, connected to the same vision, same purpose. And our group here, uh, yeah. Our group as well. And I really appreciate what you are doing. You are a role model with your enthusiasm, ambition, just excitement you are inspiring. Thank you very much for giving me a chance to share with your group. I hope everything was clear. If there's any questions, there's always, they can always email me. I would be happy to uh, support later. Okay, and uh, we might have you back sometime. <laughs> okay. Oh, that would be wonderful. I understand. I mean, yes, that would be that would be great. Maybe for a practice or or focusing on one different topics, one topics. Why not? That would be wonderful. Okay, it would be it would be wonderful. Yeah, the gratitude to all our teachers, you know, what we are doing is always a blessing from them. We are uh, messengers, we are, we are just, you know, representing, manifesting the source, the spirit, divine mother, divine father, the God, source, whatever you want to call it, cosmic consciousness, mother earth, it's just flowing through us and we are, we are blessed on the journey and this is what we get. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for a lovely day. Bye. Bye.